Finishing up our discussion on positional representations is how to work with them in a documentation mindset. When you're dealing with documentation in Inventor, you're either dealing with IPNs for animations or you're dealing with documentation prints like IDWs or DWGs. And you want to show your design with its perhaps open or closed or extended or retracted state, but also be able to showcase how they differ between those two different states. Now, if you're dealing with an IPN file or exploded views, you can open a file and choose options and bring in different positional states. We can also do the same thing here inside of our drawing environment. So if I bring in a base view, I'll right click and choose our command for that. And we'll choose a assembly from our working file set. Here we'll choose positional reps documentation.iam. Notice if you click on options, you have the ability to change which positional rep you are bringing in as a default. You would do the same thing when you're inside of the create view command inside of an IPN file. You have the ability to select which positional rep you want. Here I will just leave it as master. Choose OK and open. As you can see, I get a traditional base view dialog where I have to go through and select my orientation and such. So here I'll choose a couple different orientations which I might want to look at. Probably not left. The right, that's an okay representation. I like the right orientation right now. If I look in my representations area of the base view command though, you will notice I have a position option to do master or closed. You can choose either option. Now, for my resting state inside of my drawing, I would like it to be closed. The scale looks fine. The style is fine. I'm pretty happy with what I have here. I'll go ahead and click on the document behind me to place that view. Now, I'm not going to place any additional views here, so I'm just going to right click and choose OK. And here's my initial base view. Now, I want to get the open state of this gripper overlaid on top of this so I can showcase this component in a closed and an open condition. To do this, we use our overlay command. So I'll go up to my ribbon, and on the create panel, I'll choose overlay. I need to select a view, this one here, and once I click on it, I get an option to change which positional representation will be overlaid. My current position is closed, so I'd like to overlay my master. You also have the ability to change the positional view rep name to put that as a visibility toggle to show up on the screen. You can have tangent edges or work features show up. You can change the style of this. You can tell what layer to go on. I'll put it on the overlay layer. I'll choose OK. And there I can see my gripper in its fully open state as a separate condition from my closed state. And I can simply come in here and start documenting this. I can do a general dimension from this part here to this part here to show what my overall opening size is. So here I have a little bit over three inches in a total opening gap. If I want to dimension from the closed position to the overlaid position, I can do that as well to show how much travel takes place between there. Now, if you don't want to show certain components or lines or edges, you, know, you can turn those on and off as well. So these arms here, I do want to show all of that. Nothing else really changed too much. If I zoom in, I have a little bit of change in the teeth on this gear. You can certainly come in here and turn off the visibility of these edges by toggling over to your selection filter at the top of your screen. Here I'll choose part priority. And when I zoom in, you can see I can simply select on that entire part. Now, you'll notice that this particular part is actually part of the arm. It's actually all one plastic piece. So turning off the entire part would be inadvisable in this particular scenario. But it allows you to come in here and do that sort of work. I'll do that very quickly as an example here. I'll click on this now that the whole part is selected and simply toggle off the visibility. And maybe I do that just to clean up how this particular overlay looks. And of course, just like normal documentation views, on the left-hand side, we do have overlay shown, and we can also toggle off visibility over here. We can also turn on work features or anything else that appears inside of our positional overlay.